In order to operate the Rikon platform lift, a few things you have to do first. Down here we have our interlock system. So the, the lift will not work unless the parking brake is on or activated and the vehicle's on. So we wanna go ahead and turn on the vehicle. Make sure the parking brake is pulled up. And then from there, once you open the door, you hear the little beep that will come on to indicate that the lift is active. You can grab your hand pendant, you have an off and an on switch, turn that on. You want to hit deploy, we'll bring the lift out. Down, we'll bring the lift down. If this buckle here is not plugged in, the lift will also not operate. So as you're loading and unloading passengers, if this is not plugged in and you try to use it, it will not work. So no matter which one you press, it will not work until we have the seatbelt plugged right back in. Once you have that plugged in, then it'll start operating again. We hit up to bring up the lift. And then we're gonna hit stow to bring it right back into the vehicle. In case of an emergency, if the lift does not want to operate, we're gonna go ahead and grab our manual crank here. We're gonna insert it into this hole here. We're gonna twist counterclockwise. As that's going, we also wanna lift up this flap. It has a little catch there, so if we don't let it lift up the flap, it will not come out. And then you can kind of control it from here on how far you want it to go up and down. And you can hold it and it'll bring it all the way down. To bring it back up, we're gonna go ahead and put it here. And from there, you'll crank. And it'll bring the lift, if the lift is all the way to the ground level, it'll bring it all the way up. And if you continue pumping, it will continue to fold up the lift. If you needed more room for the wheelchair, uh, this bench seat here is also removable. You're gonna come back here. You got the two levers here. Pull here, pull here. And you can tilt up the seat. Once you tilt it up, then you just slide it back and you can remove the whole seat out of the way. To put it back in, you wanna make sure the front is in there. And then from there, you can just get it and drop it down and it'll lock in.